Hey, I'm Miles Bramman and you're watching Ride. In today's video, I'm going to explain what a 360 degree camera is and why it's useful. Now, before I explain how it works, I will say that 360 degree cameras are called different things by different automakers. Some call them bird's eye view, top view, surround view, whatever branded term that automaker has chosen, but they're effectively all the same system. It is a top view of your vehicle projected by the linking of four different cameras together. So you've got the camera in the front grille, one under each door mirror, so right and left, and then the camera that's usually embedded in the trunk. And all four of those cameras, the images are projected and knit together to create what it might look like if you were over your car looking down. It will put an image of the vehicle in the middle of those four cameras. Now, there are a few different ways a surround view camera can be of assistance. Here in a perpendicular parking situation, or really this is more of an angle, it will help me see that I'm right between the grid lines and not too far off on one side or the other. So I can reference the surround view monitor here and make sure that I'm just going to be right between those lines and not going to upset my parking neighbors to the left or right. I can also use the front view camera in this instance to make sure I'm not going to get too close to the curb and especially in an angle like this I don't want to be rubbing up just on the right hand side. This is really helpful and I'm in the spot perfectly. Now let's say I botched this park job as we all have at some point and I come in and I'm thinking I'm doing just fine but then I hear something. It's the proximity sensors telling me that I'm too close to an object in front of me. But I don't know what they're referencing if it's just the proximity sensor. But with a 360 degree camera, I can see that, oh, look at that. I am way too close to this car just to my left. So I'm going to need to back up and try again. Yet another use for one of these systems would be backing up. So yes, I've got the left and right hand bird's eye view showing me, well, in this case, that my neighbor is a little outside their lines. Uh, but in this case, we're checking the grid lines. So these yellow lines that are in some cases stationary, but in this particular system, they're dynamic, as in they're bending to show me where the projected course is for my wheels and my whole vehicle. So we can see them bending here, and that's the line that I'm following. I'm satisfied with my reversing, pull forward, and this system's cool. It'll even show you driving forward which angle my wheels are headed. Left, right, straight. Last and perhaps most useful, parallel parking. In this case, we don't want to be hitting the curbs and scraping up our wheels. And we also don't want to hit, clearly, the cars in front of us or behind us. I happen to have found a very generously portioned parallel parking spot here. Where I've got plenty of time, but now I'm knowing, all right, I'm getting real close to the curb, so I want to crank that wheel, line up perfectly, and stop right there. You know what? I want to get really nitpicky. So I'm going to go into one of these additional views and see that that is just too much space between me and the curb. So I'm going to crank it a little more, get closer, and then I'm going to crank it back. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see, right on top of it. That is how you use a 360 degree camera, my friends. And with that, you've seen what a 360 camera is and why it's useful. This has been Ride. I'm Miles Brandon. Thank you so much for watching.